We're making vegan cheesecake. Wait, how many dates are we putting in here? Oh. I'm Tori. I'm Garrett. And we are making chocolate snicker cheesecake. Take two. Vegan snicker cheesecake. All right, so the first step, one and a half cups of raw cashews and do boiling hot water. All right, where's our water? But it has to sit uncovered for one hour. Now we make the crust. We use the dates. I got dates here. So we have our handy dandy food processor. Whoops, I threw a seed in there. Oh no, what did you do? Okay, you put all the dates in in one seed. No um, wonder this is so good. This is like 100 grams of sugar. You put in like this many dates. Like this many. Uh. Now we add the walnuts. We add, I think, one and a half cups of walnuts. Walnuts. One and a half cups of walnuts. Oh, I spilled. Put it back on. All right, so we're going to put these in cupcake jars. Cupcake jars? Tins. Yeah. So we're going to put it in our cupcake tins. I don't think this will fill up all of the cupcakes, but hey. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. I don't know how much I'm putting in each one. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm not the best cleaning cooking person. Way to point out my flaws. <laughs> oh, that worked out perfectly. It just has to come off my hands. We made our crust, and we are going to put it in the freezer for the rest of the day. All right, let's do this. See you in an hour. What the hell is that? You have to boil it for an hour. Maybe it did. Oh, we didn't set a timer. Alexa, set a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. So now, do you think it was too datey? It's too late now. I don't know if the cupcake thing is gonna work anymore. I think we should just transfer right now. Okay, so what, do you, what should I do, flip this over? I don't... <laughs> <laughs> that means it's good, that means it's crusty and it's freezing. I screw things up and Garrett still loves me. He's still with me. Oh well, now we don't have enough crust. And you know, the edges might be a little, you know, debatable, but that's fine. Now we redid it, redid our crust. Yeah, we redid done it. Redid it, 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 it. We're gonna put this back in the freezer. So now we gotta make the date caramel. All right, let's put dates in here. Don't put the seeds in it. You didn't know you're just eating it. <laughs> it's a three fourths of a cup. We're, we're really doing this scientifically. And we gotta add some water in here. I said hot water, but does it really matter? Molecules are moving faster. Cashew water? Putting some hot water that I stole from the boiling cashew water. Okay. More water. Ow. Oh, sorry. Is this like a caramel? It looks like a chunky caramel. Is that okay, that, that's fine. It's like a paste. Like. Ooh, that's got a nice ring to it. So we got our caramel paste. And then you look the spoon. We're gonna have to edit this really good. Nom, nom, nom. So we're actually step six and there's only 13 steps. We're almost halfway there. All right, so we gotta wait 34 minutes until our cashews are nice and soaked and then we'll be back. So, so the filling. So, oh, we have one half cup of almond milk, one tablespoon of vanilla extract. No, no, one tablespoon. One third cup of agave. Where's the agave? Agave! 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 What are you doing? I like agave! <laughs> Three tablespoons of olive oil. Three tablespoons full of olive oil. Whoa, what are you doing? Three tablespoons. That's way more than three tablespoons. No, I no, I no. This. I don't like this at all. I'm not, I'm not recording I'm gonna, anymore. I, I need to. Everyone's yelling. Why would you do that? You're gonna give me a heart attack. Now I don't think you put three tablespoons in here. I put exactly three tablespoons in there. You have lost privileges. So we squeeze a half a lemon. So we got one lemon, two lemon. And then you eat your messings off of the table. Do it, all right, we're getting our cashews. So we poured the cashews in here. And that is supposed to be the consistency of porridge. Blend more, it's still chunky. It said add salt or lemon or agave. 
Yeah, it's poison oil. I think it needs three more tablespoons of olive oil. Maybe salt will bring out the flavor. Use the sprinkle side. Here, trust. I don't. You trust. lost. Trust. No, you lost trust. the trust. Trust fall. <laughs> needs more blending. That tastes better. So what is this is like the filling, right? This is the filling. Okay. So now after you take the crust out of the cupcakes and put them back into a pan. My turn. My turn. It's your turn. My turn. <laughs> Spread it good. Okay. Oh no, did I do a time lapse slow-mo? So now we add in this. Uh, Spray. Remember this uh caramel paste that we made? That's we add this to the top and we just kind of mix it in. Now we had a whole bag of chocolate chips. Chocolate! Hey, throw me one up in the air. Yeah. We're we're doing good. It's gonna be ready and finished just in time for you to not want dessert anymore. That's enough. Chocolate. It's never enough chocolate. Tori doesn't have a chocolate problem. She has a chocolate solution. Okay, there we go. We're gonna come back in five hours. We are back. Yes. Oh, we need a knife to cut this. Swoom, swoom, swoom. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, <laughs> it looks like this. We are going, what side do you want to cut first? Is, are you getting through the crust? I don't know if she's getting through the crust. Should I be cutting this? This looks awesome. Here, here. I'm actually really excited about this now. So. This is chocolate from the microwave. We do peanuts in. So this is the glob technique. Ooh. Glob on top. So this is our Snickers topping. Sprinks. That is pretty amazing. Oh my gosh. Well, it actually tastes kind of like a Snickers bar. It really is like a Snickers bar. Oh man. She is very indulged into what she's doing right now. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. You're right, I do have to squat a lot because you're really, you're uh, You, you be careful with your words that you choose. Because you wear a smaller size t-shirt. Yeah. 